And here is another shiny purchase in this box. This is the metallic card case. So we Yay. have the blues at the top, we have the greens, um, and then we have the red. My green rogue, yes, I finally decided to sell this. So this is up on my Poshmark and my um, Kira Hello, as well. beautiful people. Welcome to the August vlog. I can't even believe I'm saying August. Like where is the year running to? My TV is on in the background. I'm watching my brother in Nigeria. That's what's on on my TV. So pardon the noise. Look at my face. Like the rashes. These are not even, this is not acne. It's not pimples. I don't even know what it is. It is rashes. It started about like two or three months ago. I've tried. I don't wear makeup anymore. This is pretty much all I wear. This is Color Fix. I got this from Sephora. This is all I use just to give my lips a little bit of shine. And then I use a razor on my eyebrows from time to time just to keep the shape defined. I don't use powder. I don't use um, concealer. I don't use blush. I don't use anything on my face because I just don't understand where this breakout is coming from. I don't know if it's the water here. I've lived here for a year and a half now. So, and this just started like a few months ago. Um, I don't know what else could be. I don't, I've thought about, could it be my birth control, but I've had my birth control for about three years um i can't really think of what changed i think the one thing that i introduced into my um skincare at the time was this powder that i got from the dollar store and i stopped it immediately like i stopped all makeup stopped all uh, creams i used to use my um this neutrogena hydro boost religiously especially in the winter to keep my face moisturized i buy this from costco in the pack and i love it but i stopped it because i'm like i can't tell what is going on so all i use now is i wash my face uh with um irish spring um bar soap and then in the evenings i wash my face with cetaphil i had to go and buy cetaphil because of all of this so i, I had i bought cetaphil soap so i use cetaphil, cetaphil at night i use irish spring in the morning and then i use last thing cocoa butter so almond butter rather so i'm practically treating my face like a child like a baby's face because i'm still still so i've been doing that like washing morning and night and then using vaseline for um maybe a month now and it i thought it was getting better at some point obviously it's not so sometimes i like to film even is i'm very i don't feel the motivation to film sometimes um, but really I just push myself because I'm like we all have these struggles. I've never been a makeup person anyway, but this this is terrible. So cut makeup out of This is my situation. That's all I'm saying. So I don't know if you guys have any recommendations Please send them my way. I'll be very grateful for that I am going to run a couple of errands now and then I'm going to pick up my son from camp He went to Bible camp. I dropped him off on Monday. Today's Friday. So I'm picking him up I'm so excited. I've actually missed him He's been away. Like he went to see his cousins. He went for um, holidays at his cousin's house or vacation, depending on what part of the world you're from, uh, last week. So he was away last week and then this week he went to camp. So I really missed him. So I'm going to pick him up today. And I'm very, very excited to see him. So um, I'm just going to go and clean his room. I tidied it out before he comes back. Like this is probably the tidiest it's been in months. So let me show you. Let me show you. Like, all of here was just toys, his books from school, all sorts of, I had like, I tidied everything, the whole bottom and everything, and yeah, vacuumed and all of that. So it's pretty neat and tidy right now. And so these are all the clothes that are going to <clears throat> donation, donation, toys and clothes, and then uh, this is all just garbage. So that is what I am heading out to do right now. And then I'll go pick him up, pick him up from camp. And we'll be back home. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Camper, look how dirty your pillow is. Yeah, because people can't go to the over that. Oh, I see. Okay. Do you have a good time? Yeah. You're, you, um, you can't wait to come back next year. Yeah. Yeah. Excited for next year. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you have to tell me all about it when we get home. Okay. Okay. The all right. next day, we're out and about. I just finished getting a new fresh set of nails done they're so pretty i love them so much i love my nail lady like do you guys just feel like when you find the perfect nail person nail tech or the perfect um hairdresser 
you just like like you're always loyal to them because they're just they're the best so the tj style family so um winners marshalls and home sense here in canada they're having their end of season sale it's now up to 70 percent off uh, marked items clearance items and so i'm go i actually went in last week to winners i found like three pieces of clothing i might show you when i get home maybe i'll do a little haul of that and they were really good prices like really really good price but at that time it was up to 50 percent off that last week so i think they did their final markdown yesterday so this so today we're going to home sense and marshall's to see if we can find shoes because marshall's is really good for shoes the shoes and winners are usually almost always cleared out like immediately they put them on the shelves people just go and clear it out so i think i might have better luck at winners at marshall's so we're going to head to marshall's now to try it if that's they so, have yeah. way better coach bags here than in winners this is um outlet the i can't remember the name of this backpack but $1.99 it's still kind of pricey but look they have a beat they have see i have this one in green and this is $2.49 oh wow still has some factory wrapping on it are you okay baby yeah yeah i'll come around to that side oh they have this backpack this is retail and i have never seen this bag in person before so 200 it comes with a queen purse lovely pretty color too they have way more bags on this side way more bags here i have this bag see i have this bag this is 199 i'm pretty sure i paid less than 199 for mine like i, pay, I think i paid like 140 something for it interesting We actually have two. Um, this is pretty. Contessa. And they have a bigger one. It's very pretty. There's a coach camera bag. Here is the full outfit of the day. Steve Madden shoes, Karl Lagerfeld dress, and Longchamp clutch. You like that one? Yeah, because it has Mickey. Very cute. They're not lounge fly, but they're just like regular Disney bags. Cool, cool. Well, all the Clarence stuff is gone, sadly. So there's not much left for us. If I, there's actually nothing left for us to to go through in the clearance racks because they're all gone. But yep, people are vicious. This is all. Like, let me show you. This is all that's left of clearance. Seventy percent. Yeah, seventy percent off. But there's nothing left. This is all that's left. Good morning, guys. How are we doing? I am getting ready to go for a baby shower. I just finished getting dressed. I'm filming a reel, so you probably already saw it if you're following me on my Instagram and on um, YouTube if you're subscribed because I, I probably would have posted it to my YouTube shorts as well. So if you're not following me on Instagram and if you're not um, subscribed to my ch YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? You get to see my handbags, my outfits in real time. So here is today's outfit. I'm back. I got this in Nigeria, so if you watched my Nigeria vlog, you probably saw me in the store trying this on. Did I try it on? I can't remember. But I bought this set. It's a two-piece set. Pants. White leg pants. Ah, stand on my bed. Show you guys. Pants. Bad choice for today. I'm going for a baby shower. So I'm wearing this um, denim Karl Lagerfeld Agnes in the denim version very beautiful beautiful bag absolutely loved it with the aged gold hardware i don't know what shoes i'm going to pair with. well i think i have an idea 
about what shoe, but this is basically my outfit. And I want to show you guys the scent that I'm wearing. This is Esprit Doscar by Oscar de la Renta. I recently bought this. If you live in Canada, do you know the perfume aisle at Shoppers Drug Mart, the end of the aisle, like the end cap where they sell their $21.99 perfumes? That's where I got this. Like they have amazing, amazing perfumes, designer brand perfumes on that end cap all for $21.99. So I rummaged through there recently. Someone told me that they found a coach perfume there this week. Uh, one of my Instagram friends and so I sped off to my shoppers to see if I could find it But they didn't have any coach. Uh, so I got this one instead. I like the way it smells It smells very much like baby powder, which is why I like it So I feel like I can use it as like a base layer perfume. So the one I'd spray first and then spray Something else like my something heavier like my coach green or my Hugo Boss over uh, this I'll show you, let me show you guys my perfumes. Let me show you my perfume. Okay, so Hold this on. is my I wouldn't call it a vanity, but it's kind of like the pretty area of my uh, Closet so I have this transparent pouch all of these items are from Amazon and I will link all of them in my um, Amazon storefront my Amazon storefront will be linked in the description box below So this transparent pouch I use to empty my purse. So this is kind of like my uh, purse station um, within my IKEA pack system. If you want to see my video on my closet system, I will link that below as well. Um, so yeah, just I got this in a pack of two. One I use to carry uh, toiletries when I travel and this one I just use to empty out my purse. So whatever is in my purse when I'm done wearing that purse, I will empty it out here. And then when I want to repack a new purse, I just rummage through here and whatever I want to be within that new purse i just grab from here that way i don't lose things if that makes sense sometimes when i'm switching directly from purse to purse i might forget something in one purse and you know that's how things get missing so all those things are in here so i can easily switch purses now this is my perfume um stand again it's an acrylic stand from amazon i absolutely love it i think it is amazing um, let me zoom in. So that's what that looks like. You can set it up however way you like it. Like these things are removable, they're detachable, so you can set it up however you like it. Uh, this one is my Oscar de la Renta. This is my scent. This is my signature scent, Lady Million by um, Paco Rabanne. I absolutely love it. The last time, I, I usually buy this at um, airports. I don't know, it just associates my buying, I like to associate each bottle with a different airport. So I got this in um, Amsterdam, I believe. Um, and I didn't buy the big bottle because I bought a Gucci scent to try out for the first time. So I sacrificed my regular Lady Million uh, full-size bottle for this bottle and bought the Gucci scents and I ended up hating the Gucci. But anyways, I love this one. Um, I have it again in this purse size. This is the one that I carry in my purses when I'm going out like in the evenings and nice events. And then I have this one, Versace. This one came in a five pack. Um, this one is Versace Yellow Diamond. It came with this guy, Bright Crystal. Um, it came with this. I don't know the name of that one. Um, what else did it come with? Yeah, it came with this one. And I think there's one more in a purse somewhere, and I don't know where. So that's that. So these five came together as like small sizes. This one I got from Sephora. They were having a, a promo that day. Buy Sephora items up to a certain amount and get this for free. I absolutely love this. This is Replica. They're replicating the By the Fireplace scent by Maison Magella. And this scent honestly has me wanting to buy the Maison, uh, the bigger size version of the Maison Magella one. So I absolutely love that. Then I also bought this five pack of Gucci. Um, this is the Gucci. Like people rave about this Gucci scent. A whole lot of Gucci perfumes. But I bought the pack. I don't like it. I use it like as a base note sometimes. Um, but yeah, I don't really really like it. So Anywho Then I have this one by guess I, I liked this one. It's kind of like a top layer. I'm not so 
well versed into perfume notes and scents but i just know there's some i like to spray first and then spray over others there's some i like i like to use alone this one i like to pair with others and to spray it last that's I, I can't really tell you the science behind it but that's just how i like to do it and i have some candles on here as well i have this jar that i got from the dollar store because i just think it's cute um these are the other gucci scents that are still in their packaging and then i have my hugo boss which is my new favorite scent well not new the coach is newer but this one i also love this is hugo just different i believe it's called also bought this at the airport i bought it on your whim and i ended up loving it i think the scent of this is very similar to the gucci green they are very, very they have very similar notes so i use either or i never combine the two this is the gucci green it's their newest scent and it's the newest um well no the oscar de la renta is the newest to my collection but this is i bought this and then shortly after i got the oscar de la renta so i absolutely love love this i love using this as a I use this alone most times. I use this alone. I think today I'm going to try this first and then try the Oscar. Oh, I might try the Oscar de la Renta as a base layer and then try this on top and I'll see how that smells at the end of the day. So I absolutely love that. So that is my perfume setup. Um, and then I have my keychains there. All my bar charms are there. I got that stand also from Amazon. And then I have a film from the dollar store that just says love that I bought like a year ago or so. And so that is what this station looks like. Very practical, but also very, very pretty um, and aesthetically pleasing as well. It's not nearly coming off as nice on camera as it is nice in real life it just looks it definitely doesn't look as nice on camera but i absolutely love it okay so next let me show you guys my handbag setup I, you've probably already seen it like in previous videos but someone specifically asked recently at the top there i have boxes just sitting there more as decoration than anything else that's my coach book kind of like a catalog of book, uh, coach bags over the years and then i have my sun hats there as well on the side of the bookcases so these bookcases i got this one was from walmart i believe this one was from ikea the ikea one is no this one was from walmart this one was from ikea i 100 percent prefer the walmart one to the ikea one that's because i bought the ikea i bought some other ikea type not the regular one many people have uh, and it doesn't have the holes to adjust the layers like this one that has the different holes so you can adjust the layers this one doesn't so yeah it's not the regular ikea shelves i can't remember the name of this one so i think the gersby maybe anyways i wouldn't buy it again i'd buy the other one that everybody buys or one of the packs anyways so on the sides of the um bookcases i have i put some command hooks there so i have my hats i have belts and i have my uh belt bag on the one side on this side i have some more hats i actually want to put another hook here so i did buy more command hooks yesterday at the dollar store and so i'm gonna put those there at some point this weekend so right now like my bag arrangement changes like once in a while especially when i'm filming this is where i sit to film so i try to change those two shelves or at least one two three i think it's this two that show mostly in my videos so i try to try to change them out so that it just looks different for different videos so this is my most styled shelves, these three. And just put those there, like depending on what bags I'm using and what bags I want to showcase or what season it is. And then on this side, this is more of just me putting bags, like me organizing my bags, not styled in any way. Although I do currently have it arranged by color. So we have the blues at the top, we have the greens, um, and then we have the reds, and then we have the blacks and the purples. And on the other side, I just have the big bags at the bottom I have my whites and creams so that's really all there is to how i store my bags i also have these shelves right here here i have all of my michael kors bags there's one bag missing in the middle it's the manhattan that's what i use this week so you can see the bubble wrap and the strap just there and then on this side is another floating shelf where i have all my um karl lagerfeld bags again there's one missing in the middle because that's the one i'm wearing out today so right at the top of my closet system are bags there's bags behind this coach tote but it's bags that i don't really use and they're not my like they're not they're bags i had like 
six, seven, ten years ago. Tiny bags, I think there's two of them. But right at the front, I have my Fendi and I have my Coach Strut tote. So yeah, I have my bag, I have my sunnies, and let's go have this baby shower. I just picked up a package and I'm so excited. This just arrived for me from um, Holt in Ontario. I So I have a sales associate at Holt. Um, he's the one who I got my Fendi foam pouch from and we've maintained contact ever since then so he posts like deals and discounts and new in and all of that good stuff it's very tempting most of the stuff that's on there to be honest but when he posted this I mean it's a Dior item and I never even knew that Dior beauty was a thing like I knew like all these um, luxury brands have like beauty and sunglass eyeglass wear and things like that but when I googled this item on, um, or rather when I searched this item on YouTube, a slew of videos came up on Dior Beauty unboxings, Dior Beauty unboxings, Dior Beauty gift to purchase, Dior loyalty gift, Dior this, Dior birthday. I'm like, there was a lot. And I'm like, have I been living under a rock? I had no idea. So I was happy that I purchased this because at first I was like, did I really need that? So. It's perfume and to be honest I bought the perfume just because I wanted the, the uh, pouch so it came the perfume came with a free gift for purchase so I've always loved perfumes so it was a no-brainer when because I wanted the pouch I had to pick something and it was a perfume I picked right I wanted the cream the all-purpose cream by Dior um, it looked really nice but it wasn't up to the $150 spend and I didn't want to add anything else to go over like I wasn't willing to spend <laughs> up to $200 so I'm very excited to get home and unbox it not for the perfume but for the pouch so basically I got a Dior pouch for $150 and it's a good pouch too from what I've seen in those other videos and from what my um, essay at Holt showed me it's a really good pouch it's supposed to be like a makeup pouch I think or like a travel pouch but it could definitely pass for like a purse right so like a regular um, clutch and it says Dior I'll show you guys don't worry the unboxing is probably already out on my channel so I will link it below so you can watch it all right let's go home and unbox it right now It's Friday and I'm so excited because I am going to coach at Chinook Mall. So the Shine collection officially dropped earlier this week and then they dropped their fun collection with all the shapes, the Rexy, the Apple, the lips, all of that yesterday. So social media has been crazy. All of the coaches that I follow have been posting pictures, the sales associates have been posting videos and I've just been feeling so much like I want to see this collection in person. So. I'm going to Calgary today and I'm going specifically to the coach store. I already told my essay I have like an appointment kind of books. They know I'm coming in. So I'm going to see what the collection looks like. And of course, I'm going to bring you guys with me. <laughs> that is not going to be in this video, however. I might show you a bit of it because um, I did ask them to set aside the card case from the Shine collection for me. So I'm definitely going to be picking that up. Um, so I'll probably show you that in this vlog, but the whole the vlog the entire shopping vlog Specifically has probably already dropped by the time you're watching this. So I will leave that linked below Other than that, I'm very ready to go I was supposed to go to the um, boutique and the outlet today But they've postponed from what I've heard they've postponed the next release at the outlet So there is an artist collab coming to the outlet um, hopefully it might have come out by the time you are watching this already if it is i will link it below it is the coach x mint and self collection so they did the collection at the boutique stores last year it was beautiful you know i love anything artist collab i'm still salty about missing some basquiat pieces from years ago that i really should have gotten uh but yeah i loved the mint and self collection when it was available at the boutique but i didn't pick up anything i really wanted the rogue 12 crossbody but I ended up not getting it even when it was on sale because you know, there are just some pieces where you admire them, but you really need them in your collection. That's what that was. 
<laughs> it was too it was way above what i was comfortable paying in my opinion but i really like that collection so i'm happy it's coming to the outlets now from what i've heard it's actually very very good quality and i'm not surprised because even um when they did the basquiat collab at the outlet it was actually very good pieces the problem i have with outlet pieces is the interior so i was hoping it was supposed to be released today so i was thinking i would go to the boutique and then i would go to the outlet and i could see both collections but they've postponed the release till august 30th so depending on when you see this it might have gone live it might not um if it has again i will leave the collection link below so you could go see it um anyways so i'm hoping that this collection with mint and self at the outlet is way better than the basquiat collection that they did at the outlet and if it is that's going to be awesome because even though on the exterior the basquiat collection was great the problem i had with it was the interior and the type of materials that coach outlet uses for the interior of course that is to be expected because it is made for factory items but i really don't like that very thin micro um fiber that they use i just i don't like it i actually recently sold my um coach x basquiat cleo from the outlet that's kind of like and i have two i have two let me show you guys so i had the clear shoulder bag and i have the dempsey so i still have the dempsey i still love the dempsey i don't know if that's going to change anytime soon but i had the clear the shoulder bag that looks like a saddle and that just sold on my poshmark if you're in canada i'll leave my poshmark account link below i have some amazing bags including my green rogue yes i finally decided to sell this so this is up on my poshmark and my um, Kira as well. I just don't use them as much and they're not the type of bags that I'm okay just with it sitting on my shelves and not getting used. So this I want to sell to buy the um, Eleanor clutch. And then this I want to sell. Um, I don't know what I'm going to buy when I sell. Yes, okay, yeah. I remember telling myself that if I sold this, I would buy a Jacquemus Le Chiquito in the medium size. So these two and more are up on my Poshmark account. So if you're in Canada, um, I will link that below for you to check out. I'm sure you can open it even if you're in the USA, but you won't be able to buy. I am. I might be able to do international shipping for serious buyers, but you would need to send me a DM on Instagram. If you're in Canada and you'd like to purchase off Poshmark, then you can also send me a DM on Instagram as well. So I want to know what you will be buying from the Shine collection, from the Fun collection, and from the Mint and Self collection at the outlet. If there's anything you have your eye on, let me know below. I Like I said, I'm going to get the card holder from the Shine collection. I'm not getting anything from the Fun collection. I saw that on the runway um, earlier in the year when they did that, and immediately I was like, no. <laughs> it's not for me. I see the appeal for some people, especially the Rexy. The Rexy is really popular, but... Where am I going to wear that to? And I don't need to see it on my shelf. Like, that's not that's not the type of art I want on my shelves. No, thank you. Um, but the mint and self at the outlet, I am particularly excited for. I just hope the, the interior lining, let them just do fabric. Okay, let me show you an example of what I mean. So these are two outlet bags that I own. This is the Clio top handle. And on the interior, can you see that micro suede? It's very, I don't know, it just feels boy. Thank God I love this bag that's why i still have it this is also from the outlets this is the um how did i call it? how the the name is in my head but it's not on my tongue this is my favorite bag and i can't remember the name oh this is the terry <laughs> the terry shoulder bag and look at the interior right it's just it's fabric it's nothing spectacular but it feels better it doesn't feel as cheap as the micro suede um so i really hope they do it in this type of cloth fabric here's my mini row one also from the outlet also in cloth fabric so the clio is one of the very first um bags i bought from the outlet which is why I bought it maybe if i had come to the realization that i don't like that interior i probably won't have that clue in my collection today because all the bags that i bought after that are in this type of cloth fabric that i appreciate actually my serena the very first first coach of the bag that i bought actually has a cloth interior this is my first and oldest um coach of bag and look at that fabric interior it's black it's cloth it's beautiful i actually really like that so i wonder why they didn't just continue that and they started using the micro suede maybe it's cheaper for them i don't know but i certainly hope that the mint and surf collection comes with this cloth interior okay let me show you guys what i'm wearing today before i leave the house so outfit of the day is this black dress that i got from guess it is 
a like a tank dress it's very has a lot of give and then it comes with this detachable arm warmer i feel like it might be a little bit chilly in calgary today plus the mall is always super cold with the air conditioning so um that's why i'm wearing this it's a set it comes as a, as a set and it says guess on the front there in black and then i'm carrying my coach city tote for shopping this is my shopping bag i have my snacks and my water and all my essentials in there i just threw everything in i have my snacks water juice box and then the, a pouch two pouches actually with all of my essential items and i'm ready to go and wear sneakers from steve madden um are these steve madden yes madden nyc from walmart that's what i'm wearing on my feet and i am ready to go i just got to the mall and the line for uniqlo was crazy i totally forgot i think i read it read it somewhere but i forgot that uniqlo was opening their store today in uh, the Chinook Mall and the line I'm not exaggerating I wish I could film it it's just there's too many people and I don't want to get people into shots that they don't want to be in but guys the line what it is crazy they're doing like really good um a really good opening sales like free shopping bags free prizes low prices so it's really good but that I did not expect that at all and I forgot about it so it's crazy I thought about like going there but not with that line <laughs> definitely not but anyways here I am on my way to coach we're almost there so let me flip you guys around here we are time to go to my best store in the world thank you very much so it's been a morning but I finally have what I came here for, I picked it up. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna be leaving. I'm gonna be going back home now. Um, but yeah, I, I probably will um, open it up and share with you guys when I get home. But yeah, for now, let me get out of the store. <laughs> so, question. Are those bags or just this decor? Because if it's decor, that's sad. If it's actual bags, I want them. And I'm talking about the mirror bags at the bottom. Those are so cute. Let's take a trip into Michael Kors. I haven't been into Michael Kors in this mall in like forever. So let me go in and see. They never, I think the outlet bags or the outlet ready to wear is more my style. I like this actually, that's very pretty. But let me take a look and see what they have. Well, I am back home now. It's been a long day. I must admit, I'm very tired after filming and uh, modeling the bags and all of that. But it was a pretty good vlog, so I would go watch it if I were you. I just got home to make this on my doorstep. I ordered this on the Coach Outlet website a few weeks ago. It always takes a long time to get to me when I order on the website, but it's finally here. I think there was an extra 20% off sale or something like that. Um, this I got during one of such sales, and it was actually like they did not increase the initial percentage, so it was actually properly discounted, and I'm very happy about that. Um, I, I grabbed it immediately because I had wanted it even when it was at the retail store. I had actually tried it at the retail store. In one of my previous vlogs, it was one of the um, pieces of jewelry that I tried on. Here is the bracelet. Oh, this is so pretty. Love it. Loved it from when I first tried it and love it now. So it is gold and it has like pink. Um, there we go. Okay, see that pink stones in there. I don't know what the stones are. Um, and I don't even know what the metal is either. I don't know if it's going to tarnish, but it's so pretty. Look at that. Oh my gosh. And yeah, oh, this is so beautiful. I love it, love it, love it. There we go. You see? 
That's so pretty. Okay, let me turn off my lights. Let's see. There. Oh, that is so much better. Look at that. I like, like, like this a lot. So, so pretty. One shiny purchase. And here is another shiny purchase in this box. This is the metallic card case. Yay! I, I said to myself I was going to ask them to teach me how to tie this bow. And I forgot that as well because it's just always so well done. Anyway, I'm going to take it off like this so I don't ruin the bow. There. Ah. I'm definitely not going to purchase anything else from that collection because I don't know what finish they used on the shiny leather or the metallic leather but it's in my opinion I don't think it's a great finish <laughs> look at that and so here is this pretty 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 metallic card holder so it's just a regular card holder two slots here two slots there one slot in the middle let's take all of this out there on the inside oh it's actually leather that's nice on the inside there the slots on the side are fabric, cloth fabric, but the middle slot is leather. And then you have that C in silver. So pretty. Oh, and it even comes with a cleaning cloth. That is so cool. Look at that. Oh, so perhaps all the bags come with this cloth as well. Because, of course, I mean, you're definitely going to get your fingerprints, especially with the card holder. Here is the tag. So especially with the card holder, you're going to get fingerprints all over it. So really, really nice that they put um, this cleaning cloth in there. Let me see what it feels like. Oh, that's a nice quality fabric. Okay. Okay, coach. That's the cloth. Nice. So I'm going to fold that up and put it right back into... A card holder I'll probably put it in the middle I'm not sure if it's going to live there but for now let's just put it in there in the shine collection they have the Sami in the size 21 now you see and if you watch my previous videos on the Sami I mentioned that the back will crease because of the way the flap is constructed so it's a stiff um, construction and there's always tension when you open and close the bag let me take off this chain strap so so see how when you open the bag, there's always tension on this back flap right here. Like you can see the creasing, see the creasing, and then we release. Tension and release, right? Now because this is calf skin leather, this is really nice leather, it's like skin. So when, it's, when there's tension there, when it goes back down, it releases the tension. But because of whatever finish they used on the Shine Mirror Sami, that tension leaves a permanent crease so you can see the creases on that bag a little bit more and they're not nice creases they're like i don't even know what to, it's like it's it if one is not careful after they're like burn mark marks they're like the skin got burnt and it has like a film of um plastic over it that's what it looked like to me and i didn't like it at all so um i think the sami was the only thing in that collection the only handbag from that collection that i was actually thinking of purchasing um but i'm definitely not going to i also thought about the tabby wristlet but i think it'd be better to buy the tabby wristlet in another color i know for sure i want a tabby wristlet i've wanted it for a while now i just want i'm waiting for it to come out in the perfect color for me um, I was also hoping to try the shoes, but they only had the loafers in. Um, so maybe some other time, um, when if the shoes ever go on sale, they have the ballet flats with the black ribbon over it or the black band over it. I like that. They like they have the heels. They have the CCs on the um, uh, sole that I like as well. They also have this new dress that just dropped with the collection. Very very beautiful. Um, black dress. I have spoken to my essay in Barad Street, BC to keep an eye on that dress for me. 
she's going to model it for me soon so i can see what it looks like on her but i think it's a beautiful dress it's uber expensive it is designer ready to wear so i'm hoping if it goes on sale like during christmas 50 percent off if it's still available in my size i might buy it then but all in all those are my this socks. is the first time i actually tried on a rope 20 and it wasn't as heavy it wasn't as bulky as my 25s and i actually liked it so i felt weird because I know I don't like the rogues. I've said to myself, I've convinced myself that I don't like the rogues. rogues. I appreciate the style. I love the construction, the craftsmanship, the quality. That is the one thing about the rogues that I love is the quality. But when I tried on the 20 today, I'm like, damn, I like this. It was light. It wasn't heavy. It wasn't bulky. And it looked like there was still enough room in there. So I'm not sure if there's going to be a rogue 20 in my future. I do know that Coach sent out a survey to some customers recently and there was a rendering of a Rogue East West in a small size. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now when you send out these surveys, it's just to test the waters and see how clients, how customers are receptive of those styles. Not many of them eventually make it to production, but fingers crossed that the Rogue east west does because if that east west rogue makes it to production this is what i'm going to do i'm going to not buy the rogue 20 i'm going to wait till at least a year so this time next year hmm? if east west rogue has come alive i might have purchased it and then i'm not going to purchase the rogue 20 so it's either rogue 20 or east west rogue in my future if i can sell my green rogue because I need to be more strict. It has to be, one rogue has to go out before I buy, bring another rogue in. So those are my thoughts and musings on my window shopping at Coach today. And as I have mentioned many, many times in today's video, make sure you go on and watch the shopping vlog right here. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and I will see you in this one. Bye.